Hello guys, hope everybody is okay and you're all good. Today we are having a look at some of the videos of the biggest uh, ghost hunting team in the UK and I honestly think in the world as well, which is the Project Reveal, Ghosts of Britain. So obviously today's video we're having a look at uh, some of the uh, video, live videos of... Um, what's going on in their amazing museum so obviously they've got all different uh, pictures on the wall they've got all different objects that are haunted now this is a live video of uh, at the time of uh, the 23rd of December right before Christmas so as you can see all different photos uh, on the wall where the mouse cursor is they are haunted and they all have uh, a link to if you want to call it a ghost or a spirit um, obviously you got the crying boy on the wall now as you can see then I don't know if you've seen then there's some orbs going across uh, across this uh, video which is fascinating I think because it shows that there is already any loads of energy in there now for me it doesn't feel um, particularly like a safe place if you want to call it something like that um, you will probably say it's one of the, it's one of the most haunted places in the UK uh, because you can already see the activity going right around the camera now if you believe in orbs then they, to me they do feel like it's a, to me watching it there is a lot of energy in there um, so obviously Ghost of Britain have got so much evidence uh, they go live every day um, and there's just so much to go through um, it's kind of hard to do it but I don't know if you just seen that then right by the crying boy in the picture so obviously we're going to skip through a little bit and get to some of the equipment because some of the equipment has uh, some it goes off like mental during these and obviously they've got a room full of dolls which I do not like dolls they <laughs> it's so much creepy about even the nicest dolls are still creepy so there's all different things the dolls move uh, dolls fall off um, which I have witnessed that in uh, an event center um, which was one of the most creepiest things, but I just laugh at it. I do. I got a, th I got a thing for scariness. I go whoa, and then I started laughing for some reason. Um, and then obviously we're going into a different room. It goes to Britain. Now they have all different. Every single room has all different haunted objects. So it's like from dolls that have to be locked away in cases because the spirit that is connected to them uh, is very dangerous to be out of the box. So sort of like the Annabelle. They also have got the Annabelle doll, which is very, very creepy. Very creepy. Uh, the original one has to be picked up with oven gloves, has to do a prayer, and has to have holy water just for it to be picked up out the box of the original owner in America. So it's absolutely mad. And they've got a, they've got one as well which is absolutely creepy and it's like some of their pictures that they've got is just horrendous and obviously they're using um by the sounds uh like it sounds like the necrophonics app as well which i think is a very good app uh project it's a word projector and it's supposed to allow spirit to uh project their voices through and again there is so many videos that go live every night some with with some great uh, all the lives are great um, and the evidence that they've got on some of them is absolutely incredible so as you just seen the gentleman there that was Lee um, he is one of the owners of project and then you got Lindsay who's the other half uh, they are married um, but some of the some of the photos together is just you know what I mean like all in the room together it's something creepy and really really odd and mysterious about that Summer, but she but obviously you can hear Lindsay asking who's there with uh, with them. There is loads of spirits with them, so obviously there's all different artifact uh, artifacts. Sorry, there's all different uh, scribes. Or I I don't know what that one is. That's really interesting. But some of these are just really really creepy, like the looks of them. And uh, then obviously you can see a couple of things with the pentacle, pentacle of protection, the wicca. You got the runes, uh, Viking runes there. So you got loads. They've got loads and loads of different things, and the, and the thing that looks really, you know, it looks really awesome, and it's and it's like one of the places that you, you've got to sort of, you've got to have a night there. You've got to hire another night. I mean that obviously would love to see what the writing says there, but but that already just makes you feel. I got banging headache by just looking at that. Um, there's loads of orbs on this video. Absolutely loads moving past. I mean you. Some people say, oh, it's dust particles, some people won't. Um, but for me, it's giving me a headache just watching it with the, with the energy that's on there. Oh, that doll looks creepy, man. 
Ooh, no thanks. Ooh, that picture's quite dark. And sinister. But there's loads. I'm just going to skip through a couple of things as because they go into a very, very dark, uh, dark room. And obviously there's some parts like, here we go. So we've got a piece of equipment here. It looks like an EMF, EMF meter modified. Yeah. Um, I've never seen that one before. That was pretty cool, actually. Look at that. I mean, that is proper going for it. That is really, really going for it. So there's loads of different, um, loads of amazing videos that they've done, um, and which is absolutely amazing. And I love watching them. I love watching them. The problem with me, some problems with me, as soon as it's on, I fell, I fall asleep. <laughs> uh, it's just not because it's boring or anything. It's just it's really, really exciting. It's just literally when my head hits the pillow, I'm gone. Um, but I watch most of these on replay. So obviously, I think that's Lee. So this is what this is what I love about ghost hunting is the fact that it's so temperamental. Uh, the spirits can be, and they can act in many different ways. That uh, I, even I uh, think that today, you know, we don't fully understand it. I don't think we'll ever will until we cross over to the spirit world. But I mean, look at that! Look at that meter. That meter has just been going off with the blue. And it's fascinating, but obviously we're just in an orb. We've got the paratech going as well. Look at that! Look at that! It's going off. It's going off. And there's loads of like evidence that goes through. Yet that is that is Lee, um, and it's absolutely fascinating. I mean, you look at some of them dolls. Ooh, if you ask me, they could they could be buried in the ground and left there. <laughs> But there's loads of stuff, and this is like one of the nights you're gonna have you if you're a ghost hunting team or a ghost yeah, hunter uh, by yourself. It's one of them nights where you gotta go and have an experience by yourself, as long as obviously if you're allowed. Um, but their place looks absolutely awesome. And this is the thing, and as we skip forwards a bit more into the video, and there's the Annabelle doll. That's the Annabelle doll, not the one off the film that looks creepy. That's the actual exactly the same see that then do you see that orb at the top see and this is the thing this room gives me I don't feel good it always makes me feel sick this room does every time they do it um, and obviously you got different you know you got the symbols um, now obviously the two points going up uh, and the point and the single point going down that's the demonic sign so for me I can't really see what table but you look at that bear see look at the orbs going but look at that whoa look at that straight away straight away look and even the balls lighting up now it takes a lot of energy for spirit to light to light it up. I mean, look at that; it's lighting the ball up, clear as day with that with that bear. And again, it's fascinating because nobody's touching it, nobody's stamping their feet or anything like that. It just shows that, you know what I mean. There is definitely lots of spirits there with them, if you believe in it or not. Um, but for me, ghosts of breeding are one of the best for evidence out there. And, it, and again, the proof is in the pudding. Watch the videos, you'd be absolutely amazed and surprised, let's put it that way, definitely, in a good way. And they've got demonic boxes as well, which is very, thing. oh, look at that, that's creepy in that corner, I'm very drawn to that corner for some reason. Um, and as a spiritual medium, for me, how things feel, it's like looking at pictures and videos, for me, again, it just makes me feel sick. I feel really, really sick. Now there's nothing, and obviously you've got the mannequin there, it looks like a demonic room, don't it, in there? Oh, yeah, the bear's been thrown as well. Sick of that. And then an orb. Look how much activity is going past. And it looks like, as well, there's some eyes. Um... See, I see the thing is as well. I, you know, I so totally believe that. I so totally believe that. And the thing is, they also go to the CCTV box as well to sh to have a look at it as well. And to have something chucked like that, obviously, it's a very for me. If I find the room very demonic, um, I don't feel very happy. It looks like the two points are pointing up that way. So for me, it's an open portal to uh, the darker side. Um, but I was very interested on that video. If you look over where Lee is now, early on the video, it looks like there was some two eyes. Well, look, he's just jumped, and that's the only thing he started rocking. So he shouldn't ch look, see the ball move then. Oh, that, that could be that could be Lee jumping then. So it could be the after effect. Not sure. 
there you go it just shows the power of darkness you know what I mean and that takes a lot of energy to throw a teddy bear like that for me that is definitely real for me that's definitely real because I, I just feel really really sick watching this video and over there where Lindsay is I, I don't know about you guys I don't know if you've seen it earlier but I've seen loads like two are you sticking out um, and also there's loads of orbs loads of energy Ooh, there they see then right there there's loads of energy loads of spirits I don't feel like that is a I feel that that place oh, I just feel like that's a portal I really really do I feel like that's a portal and it'd be in a fascinating night if if you know if um, if we could, if you know if I could ever do it with me and Kaylee one of the nights with them it'd be an absolute honor but it's just one of them places like it's fascinating if you could ever go there you've got to go there So it looks like the mannequin was moving as well earlier. So this is a video that you have to watch. It's from the 23rd of December 2020. Uh, the Poltergeist House Drama with Spirits, WTF. Um, and it definitely looks like there's so much going on in that room. Like I'm going to skip forward a, a bit because it's making me feel quite sick uh, watching the video. Uh, it's just the energy. It's making me feel like the Necrophonics is another great app to have. If you can buy it, buy it. But you can see them there like... And the, and the thing is, they spend the next about fifteen minutes, twenty minutes trying to debug it, and obviously, I, I personally that is real. That is real. I've had stuff like that happen at uh, John Six Senses event centre, and from my own experience of that event centre, when I've actually witnessed dolls flying off the shelves, that is to me that is real as it gets. That is that is one of the best. That's what you want on a ghost hunt. That is exactly what you want on a ghost hunt. You want that excitement, and as you can see, there's loads of orbs going past, loads of energy there. Oh, I'm going to skip forwards a little bit, so I can feel quite sick. Um, it's just the energy. I get, I get this sometimes in the stomach when it's the uh, the energy builds up and it gets that quite intense. Now I don't know what that is actually. I'm really intrigued. I have to ask. Lama. Again, see, see what I mean? This place is, if if they ever let you hire it for the night or anything like that, or you could do it with it. That is... Oh, it's a gin? The gin, believed to be the first spirit. Blama. Blama. So that's the that's the gin. Oh, and that is amazing to have in a place. That's probably the, that's probably the reason it amplifies the energy as well. And gin's are absolute super evil. And you tell you what, now mate, you wouldn't see me holding one like that. <laughs> evil genie living in raw marsh. Blimey, well, it's in the paper as well. Wow. And the thing is, as well with them, it's like you, you, your wish might come true at the beginning. But you always have a massive effect afterwards, and, and you know, it always goes yeah. back to benefit them, and that's the thing, you know. And again, the balls are lighting up. There's just so much evidence on this video, it really is so much evidence, and it's amazing. EVP earlier, and it's absolutely, absolutely incredible what they get. It's one of them videos, guys, you've got, you've got to watch it, you've got to watch it. And I've watched it, I'm just trying to find a couple of parts that stood up and again it's like a, a, a spirit box and these are very fascinating because these work by radio waves by uh, frequency waves and they say that also spirits can affect the frequency waves so that and it does scan the radio as it goes past 
um, but they can also have a massive effect and this is what they're saying you know spirits are energy um, and everything is energy light bulbs electricity is energy so it can affect everything it can it, spirits can even affect the electromagnetic field but like I'm saying guys you know goes to Britain are live every night I don't know how they do I'll be I'm shattered just doing a couple <laughs> but um, it just shows that again like I like, like I say the proof is in the pudding and it's amazing what comes out you know on these lives they're live and they're not pre-recorded or anything like that like some shows in the past have, have you know some of them have been caught out as trying to set some things up and this is live and they are I would say one of the best you could, best in the world goes to Britain because he's watching it it's live you know it's just purely ghost hunting and that's what's brilliant about it and that's what's brilliant about them guys is that they are purely yeah I, I would say one of the, easily easily one of the best in the world for ghost hunting and it's an absolutely amazing and it's a shame really that the TV channels don't do live things like this because this is live ghost hunting at its core and it's so interesting so amazing um, to see this as well it's absolutely amazing and the thing is they're asking questions what do they want here and stuff like that. that's the questions that you want to hear and see what you get back as well it's absolutely fascinating so for me guys on this on this video it's a it's an hour and 21 minutes and there is just so much stuff at their amazing museum it is one of the places that if you could ever if you live in the UK and you could ever if they well if they did rent it out or anything I'm not sure if they do or not it's one of them that you've got to especially in that to me I'm gonna call it the satanic room because that satanic room just makes you feel like there's a portal massively open uh, full of energy and it's making me feel my stomach watching it let just watching it not you know I'm not even there and it feels like it's really affecting me here uh, reviewing it as well so like I say guys you know everybody has their preferences to ghost hunting teams that are, but I must admit ghost ghost of Britain are I'll probably say the biggest in the UK I think they are the biggest in the world as well and the thing is again like I say the proof is in the pudding they do good lives they you know it's all live streamed it's not set up or anything like that you can clearly see what goes on the balls are flashing the teddy bears lighting up you know the, the spirits are coming through the EVP and this is a center that they own as well so it's absolutely a magnificent place and it, it'd be, be one of them bucket lists that you've got to do um, but yeah but like I say guys I hope I know it's a very long video today but I hope you've enjoyed it today as well because it's this is what I want to do you know I want to review some of the evidence when I review some of the teams and obviously you know me guys I'm not I, I, I'm not one for negativity or anything like that you know it's all about positivity and this is what's brilliant about it is that you know these review videos you know it is showing everything you know live from a spiritual medium uh, psychic uh, spiritual mediums point of view as well and understanding and like for me this has got to be one of the one of the places one of my top five places I'd love to come and uh, do a ghost hunt with um, because it's just an incredible place it looks absolutely incredible and obviously goes to Britain again another brilliant brilliant team and again like I say guys the proof is in the pudding watch their lives and you see the evidence is absolutely incredible incredible but there's that many videos are that they do I can't do it all in one bit one video I'm gonna have to like split them up into different sections but once again I want to say thank you to Ghost to Britain for allowing me to review one of their videos and obviously uh, thank you for allowing me to do it as well it's been an honor doing it hope I could do some more um, and I could yeah you, you please follow uh, Ghost of Britain on Facebook they are absolutely brilliant in finding evidence you know it is it is the best to go something as you can I believe and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video please subscribe please give it a thumbs up as well supports me guys uh, and just helps me do more videos and uh, again thank you very much for watching bye bye